Today I'm going to show you how I grind and polish all the non-chrome metal parts and I'm going to show you my equipment too. This is my six inch buffer machine and my stand on there and nothing fancy um, and I'm going to show you all my wheels. My step number one is the wire wheel and step number two is this highly abrasive nylon wheel and here are a couple more nylon wheels there's many different kinds very abrasive they will grind down the metal after step two I go to this wheel here which is a sizzle wheel it still grinds and it's also now polishing I use this in conjunction with the black compound this is step number three Step number four is this cotton wheel, which is now polishing up the surface in conjunction with the green compound. And step number five is this cotton wheel, no compound. And I always have a bucket of water here because the pieces of metal get really, really hot. They get hot from grinding here and always got to cool it down gets really hot we are going to do this piece here this is my part of my pedal for my 1969 slick chick as you can see it is in bad shape it has many deep scratches here's the rest of the pedal i disassembled it yesterday i've already done these pieces here i've taken them through step one and two so they're looking pretty good. And today, once again, I'm going to do this here. Step number two is this grinding wheel. This is the most important step of the whole procedure because this wheel will grind down every scratch, light or heavy, any dents, whatever you have, it will grind it down. And the smoother you can get the material, your piece, the smoother you get it, the shinier your outcome is going to be. So um, it looks like more than likely I'm not going to be able to save that cross there. Because you, you cannot save that cross when you have heavy scratches like this here. Because once I scratch out or remove or grind out the scratches, the cross is going to... You're going to eliminate the cross. You're going to smooth it all out. That's okay with me though. It doesn't matter if I remove it or not. So this is it here. This is what I do. Nothing fancy. Here's the uh, slick chick that I've already done. I've done the brakes on this. Every single piece. Um, every non-chrome metal piece. I have grinded and polished. As you can tell on these brakes here, there is no scratches. When I started on it, it was full of heavy, deep scratches right about here all over the place. And I just grinded them down completely. Like I said, step number two is really, really important. If you can remove all those scratches, uh, it's going to come out looking like chrome. Because once you polish it, then the scratches will show up. Okay, we're going to do step number one on this piece here. Face mask is really, really important. We're going to grind, grind down with the uh, wire brush. Here we go.
Once again, the water here is to cool it down. These pieces get really, really hot, especially on that one there. As you can see, all the scratches are still in there. Step number one is complete. We are now going to move to step number two. Okay, this is step number two. I'm going to grind all these scratches. You got to be really, really careful with this wheel because it will cut your finger. All these scratches there. Okay, it gets really, really hot. As you can see, I'm removing all the scratches there. As you can see, a lot of I've removed a lot of scratches. There's a few more there. The smoother you can get them with this wheel, the shinier the pedal will come out. Okay, step number two is now complete. I, I am going to change out the wheels. I'm going to remove these two wheels and go with the uh, sizzle and uh, number one polishing. Okay, I've already changed out the wheels. This is the sizzle wheel, step number three. It's going to go in conjunction with the black compound. Here we go. Put some compound there. This is going to start polishing and it's still grind. Okay, step number three is now complete. I am going to change out the wheel to step number four. This is step number, this is step number four. I, I now removed the sizzle wheel, which had the black 
compound. We're done with the black compound and we're going to start with the green compound, which is right here. The green compound goes with this wheel here, all cotton wheel, and it's going to start polishing it up. Here we go. It's really hot, that's why I put it back in the water. Still on step number four. Step number five. Okay, tell me when. Okay, this is our last and final step. It's the same same wheel as, as that one there, but we use no compounds. So we've gone through step four, and um, this is going to give us give it the high shine. really hot. And final step. I'm giving it a super high polish. We are finished here. So it went through five steps here. Like I said, that number, the grinding wheel, is very, very important. The smoother you can get it there, the shinier you're going to get it here with no scratches. No dents, no scratches. Looks better than chrome. And so I did remove the cross and every scratch, whereas this one here has the cross. You can go without it or with it. I prefer without it because the pedals are so far gone, there's way too many scratches. Okay, there you go, people.